Hey, what's up guys? So today we're talking about iOS Memojis, which were released with iOS 13 back in September 2019. Well, there's been an update to the iOS, now it's iOS 13.4, and that brings more new Memojis, specifically nine new Memojis. And so today, this video is gonna be all about sharing those nine new Memojis with you and a couple other things I found along the way since iOS 13 first came out. Like I said, there's been an update and now there's more Memojis to work with, more to use in your messages and other places on iOS. Now this video won't cover all the nitty gritty on creating a Memoji, but if you wanna see my original video, you can check it out up here. Or you can wait till the end screen and there'll be a card at the end that you can click on that'll take you to that video. And in that video, I show you how you can save your Memojis without a background as a PNG so that you can use it elsewhere other than in your messages. All right, so on to this video, let's talk about those nine new Memojis. So the first one is a mad Memoji emoji. It has the seam coming out of your nose and it's expressing how upset you are about whatever the situation is. Now you're used to this with the emojis because there is an emoji with the steam coming out of the nose. The next one is the in love emoji. So it has hearts floating all around your head to signify that you're in love. The next one's actually one of my favorites. It's the party emoji. So you can use it anytime there's a fun occasion or there's something you just want to celebrate. After that is the Macaulay Culkin home alone. I'm surprised emoji. You can use that anytime something is truly surprising you. Then there's the playful winky eye with the tongue out emoji. Next up, for all the Mac lovers, there's a MacBook Pro emoji that you can use to signify your love for Apple. Then there's a emoji that looks like you're a waiter with no tray on your hand. I'm not sure exactly what it is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure there's a real reason for it that I just don't know or I didn't realize from the original emojis. So again, let me know down in the comments so I can be informed. Lastly, you have the praying hands and you have the X out emojis. So those are all the new emojis that have been added with iOS 13.4. Now, if you're not on iOS 13.4 yet, then you won't find these. All you have to do is update your iOS and you'll then have these new nine emojis. Now, along with that, if you aren't on iOS 13, then you wouldn't have the emojis at all. So if you don't have a phone that supports that, then unfortunately you won't be able to use these new emojis or the old ones at that. But I think you'd be well aware of that at this point in time. Now, some of the specs that you need to have in order to have emojis are, you need to have at least a 50 generation iPad, not an iPad Air 2 because that one is too low. The processor chip on that is only an A8 and that's not sufficient. In order to run iOS 13, you need at least an A9 chip in whatever device you have from Apple. So with that said, you can use a 6S and higher in order to use these emojis and enjoy these cool little stickers that you can use all over your messages. So speaking of stickers, one of the things that I didn't touch on my original video was that the fact that you can use these emojis as stickers in your messages. So not just sending it as a message, you can actually drag it on top of your message or someone else's message to you and then it'll sit in that place on their phone and your phone. It makes it a lot of fun, it makes it more interactive because then you can drop these different emojis on how you feel and give them a response to their message. I wanna talk about the newer phones. So iPhone 10 and higher give you the ability to use these emojis and create an emojis or animated emojis that you can use in more places than just messages. So if you have a newer iPhone, you can use these emojis inside of videos. And one of the ways to do this is to use the Clips app. So it's an app that comes with iOS. It's a simple video clip app that you can use to create little movies with your emojis. So if you didn't know, you can actually use iOS emojis outside of the messaging app. You can use it with WhatsApp. So if you're a WhatsApp user, you can use these emojis in there. You just need to make sure that you have a fully updated WhatsApp and that you're fully updated with iOS 13. All right, so one of the problems that people ran across with iOS 13 and emojis was that they didn't have a emoji icon in their messages, so they couldn't actually use it. If you run into this problem, again, make sure you're updated fully and if you are, then you might wanna try looking in the settings menu that's on the message menu. So to access this, you're gonna open up your messages. You're gonna to go to the menu that would have the emoji icon and you're gonna scroll all the way over to the right. And once you get to the right, there's a three dot menu. Inside of there, you have the ability to add emojis to your favorites. Or if you don't like emojis and you wanna remove them completely from your messaging app, then you can toggle that button off too and remove them. And that may be the cause of it not being there in the first place if you're someone who does want them but couldn't find them there. So go ahead and check those toggle buttons. Make sure that they're toggled so that it'll be on your messages menu bar. After that, if you wanna create an emoji, click on the emoji icon and then you wanna click on the three dot menu that is inside of the emoji icon. Once you click on that, it'll give you options to create, delete, or make copies and things like that of emojis. 
So now that we have all these different emojis, let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite or the one that you use the most. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. And remember, if you want to learn more about awesome technology, cool gadgets, and things like that, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It'll be a round icon of my face that's going to pop up in a little bit. And if you have any questions about the technology or the different things that I cover in my videos, you're welcome to join my Discord. There's a link in the description. And if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and check out these right here. I really do appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.